Final Fantasy VIII, we are finally, finally moving on from Final Fantasy VII and its compilation. We were stuck in a hellscape for quite some time there, uh, but it's finally time to move on. If you want to check out all of my Final Fantasy playthroughs and my first times with Final Fantasies, I have been playing all of them in the lead-up to Final Fantasy XVI, and you check that out with the playlist down in the description. You can also check out all of the VODs for this series of Final Fantasy VIII down in the description as well, and you can join me on Twitch in the future for the future Final Fantasy games, being obviously 9, 10, 12, 13 and 15, and eventually 16 when it drops too. I'm very excited. I don't know what to expect from Final Fantasy VIII. I don't really know anything about it. The only thing I know about the bloody main character is that he was in Kingdom Hearts, and he has a big sword with a gun, and that's it. That's it, that's where we're at. So, I guess that's it. Without further ado, let's bloody go ahead and hop into Final Fantasy VIII. I know some people are very purists for these Final Fantasy games, and uh, uh, will probably be like, what the fuck, you're playing the remaster, that changed the character models, and it doesn't convey the same emotional weight of the character design, and like, uh, to be fair, I don't know why I was making fun of that, like, I do get it, but also, this is the most easily accessible one, it is also free for me, because it's on PS Plus, so, uh, yeah, I could emulate it, but like, I'm not doing that again, that was a fucking ball ache with both Dirge and, uh, Crisis Core, and I'm, I'm too old for that, you know, I'm just too old. I do like it. It's very Final Fantasy. It feels weird to be back playing one that I'm unfamiliar with. Tetsuya Nomura! No, not again! But a lot of people- I've had a lot of comments, especially on my Crisis Core video, that have said, Oh, if you don't like this, you're not gonna like Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, and I don't know what, what validity there is to that statement. Got the beach here. I'll be here. Who are you? I'll be waiting for you. So, if you come here, you'll find me. What the fuck's this? Squaresoft presents Final Fantasy VIII! Holy shit! I like all these visuals. This is really cool. It's all like, you know, it's got a lot of flair to it. <coughs> Woo! Shit, bro got a scar! Whoa! Well... You should be fine. Say your name for me. Squall! Shall I call him Leon? Shall I change it to Leon and call him Leon for the whole game because I'm a fucking bitch? That's Cypher. Won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? I feel like I'm, I'm giving her the voice I gave to Elmira. I have a certain set of voices and I'm just really trying. Quistus! That sounds like a sexually transmitted disease. Squall! So we meet again. Well, that was an interesting camera angle pan change a Rooney. Ooh, look at that. Oh, we just- Oh, wait, what? Who's this? What? Oh my god, you can summon girlfriend. <laughs> Select a GF and its target. Another question. What's the headmaster's name? <gasps> Headmaster Sid. Oh my god, the headmaster's a fucking stoner! So here's a brief explanation on junctioning a GF. I keep going to say girlfriend, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, okay, right, menu. Here we go. One hour later. Oh, what? Okay, no, it's okay. I'll just have to learn. I just, I'm an old man, and when I'm presented with new things, I get scared. Whoa! Okay, this looks very different from. Oh! Can I not turn the camera? Oh, you do it with the shoulder buttons, right? Look at this. This looks. What the fuck are these textures? Oh my goodness! Oh, I like the depth of field there. That's quite nice. Thunder found. Uh, Squall, he draw. When this first came out, I was 12 and the systems had me lost. Oh, I can imagine. I could tell you right now. That would be, that would be me. If I played this game when I was a kid, I would not have engaged with any of the systems. Do you know, when I played Kingdom Hearts 1 the first time, I was not young. It was 2015, so I was 18 when I first played Kingdom Hearts 1. And I, <laughs> I didn't use any abilities for the whole game. I played the whole thing with no abilities on because I didn't know how they worked, and I didn't want to bother to learn. True, that is classic me. I do go, oh, right, 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 yeah, I get it. And then a few seconds later, I'll go, wait, what the fuck's going on? I don't get this. Oh! Ah! For me to lose to a human very well, I will join you. What? Okay. Okay, bro. Right. Okay. Okay. I, I get, I think I get that now. Mainly. I think it's going to take me a bit to learn it, properly. Huh, huh, I'm Zell. 
I'm Zell Ditched. You know what? I'm just gonna not say his last name. Huh. <laughs> I'm Zell. Oh wait, this is like um Sabin. You don't get along with Cypher, do you? Heard he whooped you pretty pretty bad this morning. We weren't fighting, we were training. I bet you he doesn't think so. Look, Cypher's just being a pain in the ass. All you have to do is ignore him. That's Cypher you're talking about. He's your squad leader. Huh? Say what? <laughs> oh, those guys are also from Kingdom Hearts, right? It's Cypher's bloody lackeys. Everyone here? The stoner has arrived. Oh my god. He looks like a fucking nerd. Oh my goodness. Why is Sid so blurry? <laughs> Why is he phasing through reality there? What the fuck? Sid! Sid! Whoa! What happens if I crash into the wall? Oh, nothing. I thought maybe that would like... Oh, it's a reflection of the moon in the wall. That's sick. Oh my god, we got soldiers here. I love the way they mix character models with the FMVs and stuff. <gasps> Major Biggs! There has been a report of a monster shaped shadow on top of the tower. This reminds me of the end of Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Oh, it's a dish. Satellite dish. Whoa. Do I need to just draw once and then, like, I'm good? Or do I want to keep drawing because I want lots of that specific one? What the? Ah! Oh my goodness. Who the fuck are you then? What about Siren? What's that? Acquired Siren? Oh wait, does that mean... We now... Siren is the GF? Oh right, Siren's the GF. Right, 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 got you, got you, got you. I'll just do... I'll just... I'll just draw everything. Right? Is this another boss? Oh goodness. Let's get the hell out of here! Oh, we gotta escape? Oh. Why do we have to escape? Oh god. Oh god. I hope we didn't kill the dog. <gasps> Ooh! Run! Ah! Holy shit. Oh fuck. Run! We can make it back to the boat! Look at that thing, it's marching along. Holy shit. He did the leap. Oh shit, they got him. Nice. Yeah, the transitions are really cool. Yeah, I like it a lot between yeah, gameplay and... Uh... Final Fantasy VII did a bit of that sometimes, but this game does it really cool. Oh, it's Cypher. Um, you hear about the communication tower and delay? We would have been heroes if it weren't for that withdrawal or withdraw... I still can't do it, man. I still can't do it. I, it's still that that word it eludes me. Here we go. I'm Squall from B Squad. Who's this random guy? First of all, congratulations. However, from now on, as a member of Seed, you'll be dispatched all over the world. These guys in robes are a bit creepy. They're a bit weird. I don't trust them. Clap, 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 clap. Well done, Squall. Well done, Selfie. Well done, Zell. Oh my God! Look at me. I look sick. I look sick. I like that. This gives me- that gives me, um, 15 vibes. Maybe it's just because literally Noctis wears, like, shoulder pads that are linked up by a chain, and that's just what it's reminding me of. I don't know about you guys, but this is a bit, like... I kind of feel like a Nazi. I, I don't know about- I don't know- I don't know if that's a fair assessment. <laughs> I guess we're both seeds now, huh? Put it there, man. Just pulled that up his nose. There's a lot of FMVs. It's her from the cutscene at the beginning. She wants to be Tifa so bad, oh my god. Let me guess. You'll only dance with someone you like. You'll be fine, come on. I'm looking for someone. I can't be on the dance floor alone. These, these FMVs are like... Definitely a step up from Seven. Which is, like... Interesting, it's only a couple years difference. Well, the animation work is a bit more impressive. He's trying his best. He's trying his best, but he can't do it. That was really cool. Status Junction Explanation. By junctioning a GF with status- 3.28 AM. Ah, I fucking hate this, fuck off. He told me that I failed as an instructor. Basically that I lacked leadership qualities. That sucks, that's sad. I'm sorry about that. Kistus, Quistus. What am I supposed to say about other people's problems? I'm not asking you to say anything. I just want you to listen. And go talk to a wall. 
Oh my, oh my god! No leadership qualities, failed instructor. Perhaps they're right. Oh no. Well, maybe they're right, but like I still feel bad for you. <laughs> Squall! Wait, that's her. Squall? Quisty? Quisty? Who was that? Who knows? Wait, but she knew you. She knew you. She said your name. He doesn't want to play cards. You guys want to play cards? Yes! I do want to play with you. The music! Oh my god! I love it! <laughs> yeah, get fucked. Ah, shit. Nah, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Yes! Let's go! That's fun, I could see myself playing this against everybody. Two hours later. No! Ooh. Yes! Let's go! Well, about your first mission. You are to go to Timber. There you'll be supporting a resistance faction. That is your mission. A member of the faction will contact you at Timber Station. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. But 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia. So now, Timber is under Galbadian occupation. It's said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. Nope, that's it. Hmm. Hey. Uh, hey. Huh. What the? Something's wrong with me too. I feel sleep. What's going on? What is this? Final Fantasy XIV flashbacks from last night. Holy shit, what's going on? What the hell? What? Are you sure this is the, like what? Like Lagoon Laguna? Are you sure this is the right way? What? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I guess this is a thing that we're doing now. <laughs> Aren't we here to fight a war? You know, against the Almighty Timber Army. Don't call her the Piano Lady. That's it. Forget it. I'm not going. Twelve seconds later. So Laguna, Julia should be making her appearance soon. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. Oh, to be this close to Julia. Is this guy serious? What the hell is happening? Uh oh. That holy shit, that sounded like fucking Tifa's theme that did. What the hell? I can't be the only one that thought that sounded really similar. Oh no, his leg's cramping up. You're right, bro. <laughs> oh no. That's tragic. No, it's not Tifa's theme, obviously. I'm just saying it sounds like it. Like the notes were very, very similar. Pretty hard to talk freely here. Everyone's listening in. If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. You don't want to? Of course I do! Sorry, I don't know why I'm making him out. I, maybe that's what he sounds like. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? They absolutely should not give out that piece of information just because someone asks. That's, that's insane. You have beautiful eyes. Though, they look a bit scarred now. Scared now, not scarred. You've shown me something. I think I come up with a song. Wow, I must be dreaming. It's not a dream, is it? Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. Wow, and we're back. Huh. Were we all asleep? I had such a nice dream. Oh, uh, they're all gonna have had the same dream. I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. I dreamt I was a moron. We should be there soon, eh? <laughs> Fucking Canadian. <laughs> Okay, Timber Station. We're here in Timber Pet Shop. Hey, Squall. Sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Uh, ask him if you get lost. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Why am I giving this weird voice? Oh, that's her. Hey, you're, you know, from the party. So does that mean you're a seed? I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Yes, Seed is here. You know Cypher? Yeah. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. 
Oh, yeah, my name's... Renoa. Renoa, is that how you say it? That's too bad. Who the fuck's he? Angelo? Oh, Angelo. Angelo, you want to play Triple Triad? Oh my god, look. You can reset him if you just click on him. <laughs> it all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. A super VIP. The guy's name is Vinza Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. Oh my god, fake President Delling! No! Oh my god! Oh god, he's transforming. I knew this would happen. Wait, is he transforming or is he dead? No, just dying. Nope, yep, he scores, he's trapped. Okay, okay, okay. Well, what is that then? Surely. Yes, let's go! I clutched it, but I did it. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. The TV station, sir. It's quite close if you take the local train. But the local transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. I forgot it did his voice. We would like to present to you today a message from the lifelong president of Galbadia, Vinza Delling. Greetings. I am Vinza Delling, lifelong president of Galbadia. Today I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of this world, have the power to end all wars. I plan to convene with other nations' leaders immediately to resolve these problems. Allow me to introduce the Ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. The Ambassador is the Sorceress. The Sorceress? Cypher's here. Wait, is he trying to assassinate the- Oh my god! What the fuck is Cypher doing? What's going on? Oh. Booba. The boy in you is telling you to come. What? The adult in you is telling you to back off. Shut up! Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. The fuck is going on? Who, who is this? What, Cypher? No! What in the fuck? She's gonna turn him into a man. <laughs> I love how Final Fantasy games always have a rebel faction. That's like how the story starts in every Final Fantasy game. It's like, you have to help the rebels. Well, we made it. I have to thank Zone for that. He's into naughty magazines. I'll keep that in mind. What? She's gonna go buy him porn? What? Oh. What the? The sensation. Uh, oh no, Christus. I think they went to the dream world. Literally, that's Squall's reaction there. What just happened to Squall? That's what happens whenever a woman starts having a go at you. That's just what happens. Every man knows it. You know, a woman starts nagging you, you just, you end up in the dream world. <laughs> where you're Laguna. Seriously, I have a bad feeling. There's something fishy going on here. Looks like we got company. It's our soldiers. Still wearing those flashy uniforms. This is so odd, and why- why are our main party connected to them? And not even just our main party, well like, yeah, but like, like, Selfie and Zell showed up before, and now it's Kistus and Renoa. Very interesting bits of bobs. Kistus and Selfie, not- oh yeah, not Renoa, yeah, true, 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 it wasn't Renoa, it was just Kistus and Selfie. Ah, oh, my back is itchy! You fucking you little bitch. Check it out, a boat! We're getting on! What the fuck?! Laguna is literally Zach Fair. Oh my god, dude. No, he is too. He's just a quirky, silly little boy, you know? He's a baby boy. He needs to be cherished and protected. Was it Laguna again? Sir Laguna is in big trouble. I hope he'll be okay. Doesn't seem like the first time for you all. What is this? We'll just be wasting our time trying to figure it out. Let's keep going. Hey! Hey! Ugh! Whoa, hello. This is an interesting looking place. These are all very interesting. They're just like plonked down in the middle of the world, just like these safe haven places. Look at this. We made it. I like a Final Fantasy VIII so far. I'm having a nice time. I'm, you know, like I keep saying, I've not played enough to really, like I don't really know what the game's about yet because I feel like we've not got into it properly. But I like the characters and I'm enjoying the journey so far. I'm not having anyone talk about me in the past tense. 
<laughs> Sorry, that sentence was funny. I'm not having anyone talk about me in the past tense. Squall walked to school? No! Squall walks to school! Perpetually! In order to stress the importance of this mission, I must first brief you on the current situation. You all know about the sorceress being appointed as the peace ambassador for the Galbadian government. However, this ambassador will be just a cover-up. There will be no peace talks, only threats. The orders say by means of a sniper. We have no one with that skill. Don't worry about it. Let me introduce you to an elite sharpshooter from Galbadia Garden. Irvine Kinius. Is it Kinius? Like Phineas? Or Kinese? Who's this bloody joker? I like that look. I like that hat. This is Irvine Kinius. He will be your sharpshooter. We're to assassinate the sorceress. <gasps> it's time for assassinations. Ooh. This is where where they were. Dream bit. They were here. We're going to Caraway's mansion, right? Just take the bus 08. Everyone just wait here. Oh, by the way, this is my house. Oh. She has not received the type of training you all have, and may become a burden. It's for the best that she stays out of this operation. So the father's a top military officer, and the daughter's a member of an anti-government faction? That's bad. Really bad. If the plan fails for some reason, or should the sniper miss, the leader must carry out a direct assault against the sorceress. This is called an Odin Bangle. It's supposed to suppress the sorceress's powers, but its effects are still unknown, so I don't think they're going to use it for this mission. So what exactly do you want to do with it? Are you planning to have the sorceress put it on? Who? When? How? That's what we're going to discuss. We don't have time for that. Squall and Irvine are already standing by. We have an operation to carry out, too. You understand, don't you? This isn't a father-daughter quarrel. This isn't a game. Fuck. Instructor, what's up? Maybe I was too hard on her. Yeah, you're pretty mean. Too hard? <laughs> I've never heard of too hard. I'm going to apologize. You mean Renoa? But we can't just leave our post. I mean, you, don't, you hardly need three people to flick a switch. We still have time until 8 p.m. You two wait here. We can't just... Hey, wait up! Fuck it, you're all dumb. You're all actually dumb as shit. Like, that's fucking stu- Are you fucking joking? The game's gonna make me do this dumb thing. Not one of them decided they should stay. Not one. What? What? It'll be chaos out there soon. You'll be safe here. Oh no, he's gonna lock me in. I... I can do it. Renoa, I'm sorry, I... Oh, you fucking idiot. This is dumb. This whole thing is dumb. This is born of just stupidity. Like, why? 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 Why would she even... Like, why would she think? Why would she think... Oh, I should go apologize right now. She literally just said to her moments ago, like, we can't fuck around. We've got a mission to carry out. Like, they're already in position waiting. Why would she then decide 20 minutes later, you know what, this doesn't matter as much, I can go back and I can I can apologize. And also, everybody's gonna follow me and like we're not gonna have a conversation where it's like, no, 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 Zell, you stay here, you fuck it, you stay here. Like, wh why? Why? <laughs> you could make this happen way more naturally, I don't know why, okay, why they have to be dumb for this to work, but okay, whatever. Yeah, and how didn't they meet each other when they were coming in and out of the door? Like, surely they would have seen each other. Also, the lock has a timer where the door is open so Renoa can just walk out. What's the point of the lock? <laughs> yeah! Like, what the That whole scene... That whole scene was really silly. That's so silly, yeah. So you abandoned your post to apologize to Renoa and got locked in a room with no way out. This is why Sid fired you, because <laughs> you make bad choices. <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. So I, um, brought you a small gift. Please. Whoa! Okay, that made me jump. Shit. <laughs> I just got jump scared by Final Fantasy. Oh no, she's had the COVID vaccine! I love the sorceress design. It's so Final Fantasy. Like, it's so Final Fantasy. Like, what the fuck? Like, the whole- that headpiece and everything? Booba! 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 Sorry. Hey, dear. Are you alright? Hey, 
Sit back and enjoy the show. Woo! Bloody hell! Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! She's in trouble big time! We gotta go help Renoa! Yay! Oh, nice. Carbuncle! Oh my god, it's absolutely adorable! This music is so good. I love this track. Really scared. It's over now. Instructor, now! Hit the switch! I will say as well, this whole gameplay section has been really fun. I think the way this has been structured, like between the different party members and the way you're doing different things sort of at the same time, I think it's been really well structured. I really have vibed with this whole segment. I, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I always choke like this. I try to act cool, joke around, but I just can't handle the pressure. Forget it, just shoot. My bully, the sorceress, I'll go down in history. I changed the history of Galbadia, of the world. It's all too much. Enough, just shoot. I can't, damn it. I don't care if you miss. Whatever happens, just leave the rest to us. Oh my god. Oh, hell. Holy shit. Oh. Yo. Look at him, bloody guy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, Cypher's here, of course. Are we gonna have to fight Cypher? Are we gonna fight Cypher, but the sorceress is gonna get away? I mean, she teleported before. Why can't she just teleport now? Teleport is canonically a Final Fantasy spell. This is a cool battle arena. Uh, let's do a- Ah, oh, I'm dumb as shit. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do a- we'll do a draw. What do you give us? Lives? Wait, what's the difference between lives and life? I lost. We beat him. You're losing it, Cypher. A seed planted in a rundown garden. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh god, okay, 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 okay. Renoa and the other guy, Irving. Why is that the Final Fantasy VII theme? You can, you cannot tell me you can't hear that that is very clearly similar to the Final Fantasy VII theme. Why have they done that then? Impudent seeds. Oh, we did it. We did it. That's the end of the fight. Oh, she leaving? Whoa. 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 Icicle spears. Whoa! Squall! Holy shit, dude. Oh, fuck. Dude just got fucking stabbed in the shoulder. Where's he going? Squall, come back! Fuck, that was not the way you wanted that fight to go down at the end of the day, was it? Uncle Laguna, there's someone here to see you. Huh? Me? What's this person look like? He was wearing funny clothes. He's talking to Rain right now. Is he at the pub? Yep. That's why I came over to get you, Uncle Laguna. H hey. Alone. Elon. <laughs> Was that the end of disc one? Really? Already? You mean Julia the singer? That's right. Laguna really admired her and always frequented the nightclub. Shut up. So what if I did? Then the first song she released was Eyes on Me? <laughs> How does the song go? The song's about being in love. I really like it. I heard she recently got married. Oh yeah. To some army general, right? General Caraway or something? <gasps> what? But that means... It's a heck of a lot better than what Est Estar soldiers do. They kidnap little girls, you know. I think they're looking for a successor to Sorceress Adele, the ruler of Estar. If they come back here again, I'm sure it'll be for Elon this time. Elon? I just said Elon again, oh my god. Alone, right? I feel like I understand what's going on. And if I don't, then I don't... I don't get it. Because... I think... 
I'm not gonna say what I think. I'm not gonna say what I think. We'll see what happens at the end of the segment. But I feel like I know what's going on. Or what will happen and what these what these scenes are setting up. Maybe not the way they're connected to Squall, but I think I know the way they're connected to the main narrative. One thing I will say is that the characters don't seem to be lingering on this whole dream world thing enough. If that was happening, dude, that would be top priority, what the fuck is going on with us sort of thing, right? But they're ignoring it because the plot needs them to ignore it so that, like, they can move on with the things that, are, that the game wants to get through, almost. It sort of almost feels like Seven Remake when, like, the whispers will do something and the characters will be like... That was weird. Anyway, let's do the thing that happens in Final Fantasy VII. And it's like, I feel like they should be talking about this more. I feel like at least, like, a conversation about it. Whereas, like, now it's become the normal. They're like, oh, you're in the dream world again? Oh, yeah, I was just in the dream world. Like, what the fuck's the dream world? Like, come on. Let's have a bit of a longer conversation. Just a little bit. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, there's nothing they can do about it specifically. Like, they're not, they're not really going to be able to do much. But, like, if this was happening to me, I'd be like, okay, we need to have a conversation because this is fucking weird. But, like, it feels like they're just kind of shrugging it off every time. They're like, uh, that was weird. Anyway, we've got to, like, assassinate the president. So let's focus on that right now. I'm sure at some point they'll finally have a chance to talk about it. But, you know. Uh, Laguna. Shut up. Laguna. 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 I don't understand. Laguna! Laguna! Wait, they're calling him Laguna? Laguna! If you win this game, I'll add something special to that thing for you, but I charge 300 guild per game. Dude, you're in fucking prison! Oh, you motherfucker! Listen here, alright? Listen... Here. Yes! Nailed it! Yay! The sorceress is about to launch missiles at Garden. They're targeting both Balam and Trabia Gardens. We have to interfere with the launch. We have to stop the missiles. So Squall, please, decide who's gonna go to the Gal Galbadia missile base before it's too late. Renoa, come with me. And also, Irving's pretty good. Irving, come with me too. I'm on the missile base infiltration team. I have to be. They launch missiles at my Trabia. This team will now head for Balam. The rest will go to the missile base. Should I go with this? Yeah, go with it, I think. No! Oh, you're fucking joking, man! Come on! Oh... Just gotta do it in. Everything will be okay. Do we win? Yes! Um... Wait. Are we locked in? Skull will take care of the rest, right? I wonder if he'll organize the garden festival. Nah, can't count on Squall for that. Sigh. It's all over. I've always thought about when this day would come. Living a life full of battles, I guess you could say I was prepared. But when I think it when I when I think this is really it, damn it pisses me off. Squall, why did you choose us? Did he choose us because he knew this would happen? What are you all saying? Squall chose us because he believed in us. I'm sure of it. We can do it. That's what he thought when he made this team. Isn't that right, Squall? Whoa! Yo, guys. Oh my god! What? Did they die? What the fuck? There's no way they're dead, though. Like, they will come by. That seemed too... Unceremonious. That's gonna be a fake out. Answer the question. Are you with Garden Master or are you with Sid? I don't understand what you're talking about. Do you swear your allegiance to Garden Master Norg? Hey, Master, where are you? She was told me about the missiles. The intercom is down, so we can't announce the order to evacuate. I want you to assist them and then evacuate. What are you going to do? I'm going to stay here and smoke weed. This building used to be a shelter long before it was remodeled into the garden as we know it. Use that key to open the lock on the elevator. Oh? What? Whoa! What the fuck? Where are we? What's happening? What 
Whoa! What did we do? What did we do? Is it like, uh, what's it called? The castle. I forget what it's called. From Final Fantasy VI. The castle that transforms and moves around. Oh my god. That's crazy. It absolutely is. Holy shit! It's hovering along! Yeah, it's like Figaro Castle. Who's my favorite from Final Fantasy VIII so far? Um... I don't know. I want to say Squall, but he's the main character and that kind of feels like a cop-out. But I feel like none of the other characters, have, I don't have a strong attachment to any of them, really. I like Renoa and I like Squall. The rest, like... Eh. Whenever Master Nord calls you, be sure to be there within three seconds. Three seconds? Three? Three seconds are up. Wh what? What? This is the Garden Master? The proprietor of the garden? He's not human. Come to think of it, we didn't know anything about him. Is he an alien? Or is he just like a monster? Fushifuru, Fushifuru, give your report on the sorceress. I need to give him a voice, really, don't I? That sly weasel Martine used was a last resort for the assassination. He gave that order to place the blame on me. That, that bastard! That idiot should dispatch seed to kill the sorceress! And if you fail, the squadron will be done for! That idiot Sid, he has forgotten that it was I who put up the money to establish the garden! Is it Sid's and Adair's? The pathetic married couples? What? I don't get it. No, I don't get it! Prepare to die! What do we get? Bios? Oh my god, it worked wonders on my playthrough! Let's go! Oh, I'm afraid of her! Me! Why me? <laughs> we win! Okay, the real meaning of Seed. Please tell me the real meaning of seed. Seed is seed, the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden. Hmm. Do you know something about seed? I never know anything. Seed will defeat the sorceress, the garden will train seed members. The many missions around the world are only training for the final battle against the sorceress. But now that the sorceress has become a major threat, our true mission has begun. I heard she's your wife. You're quite right. She had been a sorceress since childhood. I married her knowing that. One day, Adea began talking about building the garden and training Seed. I became obsessed with that plan, but I was very concerned with Seed's goal that one day Seed might fight Adia. <clears throat> she laughed and told me that would never happen. However... Interesting. Hey Master, we've come for a loan. It's too dangerous here now. Alone? Wait, she's the girl from the beginning of the game, when you were in the infirmary. Yes, Squall? Are you alone? Yes. You're alone? The alone? You know Laguna, don't you? I do. I really love Uncle Laguna. What is it that we experienced? I'm sorry, Squall. It's hard to explain. One thing. It's about the past. So we were viewing the past. I was- at least I was right- I was right about that bit. What alone said under her breath was... You're my only hope. She's just going away now. I do- I just feel a bit lost. I do, really do. I don't want to depend on anyone. How can I do that? Poor Squall, he's having a hard time. Someone tell me. Someone? So I'll end up depending on others after all. Sis? I'm all alone. But I'm doing my best. Oh. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. Oh. So we're going to get to learn a little bit more about why Squall is the way that he is. So Squall had a sister that abandoned him. She's the sorceress. That's my new, that's my new working theory. There's got to be some sort of connection because she clearly recognized him when she shot him with that fucking icicle. <gasps> oh no, dude. Why? Someone do the fish emote. The Joel emote. Dude, get out of there. I wonder if Radiant Garden is called Radiant Garden because it's like a garden. Like from Final Fantasy VIII. Is that a thing? Or am I just, is it, am I just barking up the wrong tree? Nah, don't worry about it. What's important is that nobody got hurt. We love fixing stuff anyway. Kick back and enjoy your stay. Thank God we crashed our giant garden and destroyed the city of the one city that really enjoys rebuilding things. That's really lucky. Like, that's got us out of a bind here. Because any 
regular person would be very annoyed that we destroyed their city. I'm so happy that we crashed into the one city that actually really loves rebuilding the mess. So that's really great. That's a really, really good outcome. The Galbadians are here because of you, right? They're after you. Maybe. You'd better take full responsibility. It's your fault. Fine, we'll take care of them. Ah, found it. Ultima. Yo, let's fucking go. Seven Ultimas. Is that going to be good? Can I junction that? Will it be Will it be really sick? I just realized. I'm dumb. I need to I need to refine those tents. I literally bought a bunch of tents and just didn't refine them. What is this? It's this thing again. It's back. Hey, we won. I can turn those tents into Kiragas and get everyone's health up pretty damn high from it. I think that'll be good. Bye. <laughs> Lol. <gasps> oh my god! The guys! I told you they'd be alright. I knew it. I knew they'd be fine. Yes, they're alright. He's healthy. Zell, Kistus, it's great to see you guys. Squall, is the garden alright? A lot has happened. This is so bad. E yeah, it's been crazy, with the garden moving around and crashing into FH. I really wanted to see a band perform on the stage. I, I just don't know why I did with their accent there. I even had my eyes set on a few people too. So like, first, we'll ask the F FH technicians so they can fix the stage. Then they can fix the garden. This should be a piece of cake for them. You can have your band perform on the stage. Woohoo! This is a journey to defeat the sorceress. The garden will now be used as a mobile base. This journey will involve many battles. A well-qualified leader is needed for this. Therefore, I'm appointing Squall as your new leader. Oh, he's not gonna like that. That's also really irresponsible if you said he's a 17-year-old. Hey, everyone. Here's our producer, Selfie. We'll be holding the concert as planned. The performance isn't just for us, though. It's for Squall. You know, to congratulate him on his recent promotion. So, what's up? Come on, Squall. How old are you? You're still a teenager. Why don't you act like one for a change? Okay, come on. Let's go to the concert. Squall, you big stud! This is all for you. Congratulations. Enjoy the show. Renoa, don't let him get away. Whatever. Oh, look at this. You know, when you start thinking, you tend to frown like this. <laughs> Oh my god, whoa! What? That's it. Just let out anything. Anything. We want you to talk to us a little more. That's all. You know, if there's anything you want to tell us, or anything we can do, don't hesitate to let us know. I know it's not easy, but I wish you would, you wish you would trust us and rely on us a little more. Am I that untrusting? Maybe I'm this way because I'm scared. Nothing lasts in this world. It feels great to have friends who believe in you, and adults you can rely on. That's why it's so dangerous, especially if you become used to it. Someday you're bound to lose everything. Everybody around you will be gone. Then what are you left with? Nothing. Nobody. It's so miserable. I never ever want to deal with that again. I can't. Even if it means being alone. They're not really being subtle, are they? Like, I feel like I get that, you know? Like, I kind of get- I kind of get it. Like, we saw the, the flashback of him when he was a kid. Like, we under- it's kind of implied. I don't know if I needed him to say all of that out loud. But, you know, never mind. You're not sorry. You just want to get the hell out of here. That's all. Jeez, why does it have to be like this? Why? Aw, oh, Squall, you fucking fumbled it, mate. I feel like the outside world, at least so far, matters not a, not a great deal. Like, it exists, but, like, it's not that important. I don't know. It might There might be a lot more of that later on as we get towards the end of the game, I would expect i guess but so far there's not been a heavy em emphasis on like exploring and actually going around the overworld and like doing that stuff garden controls triangle to cockpit b to back square to forward x to get on and get off nice okay here we are selfie's going up to the gate so it's, it's all been fucked up i'm going in i tell you what i really can't wait to replay all the kingdom hearts games and do like a stream series where i play through all of them leading up to cage 4 that's gonna be so fun I just had an absolute wave of nostalgia today, looking at Time Hop and seeing like the pictures of when I first played KH1 and stuff. It's really cool. Oh, people. Fundaga, let's go. There should be a basketball court in the back. Wait for me there, okay? I want to go catch up with some of my friends. We're leaving as soon as Selfie comes back. We're on standby till then. You know, ever since I met all of you, I've been doing some thinking. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't come up with an answer either. Why did the sorceress come into the picture all of a sudden? 
Was she actually waiting for this opportunity? I wonder if she was living a normal life before all of this. Take me with you when you fight the sorceress, okay? I want to get even. I want my revenge. Do we have to fight? Isn't there another way? You know, to avoid any bloodshed? Yo, what the? What are you saying all of a sudden? Maybe someone really smart can come up with a way so we wouldn't have to fight anymore. I guess. I'm getting scared. Sometimes, when I'm with all of you, I feel like we're on the same wavelength, you know? But when the battles start happening, it's different. Everyone's tempo seems to pick up and I get left behind. I wonder, is everyone safe? Will they welcome me with open arms? Renola, I understand. Someone might not be there. Someone you love may disappear before your very eyes. It's tough when you live your life thinking that way. But that's why I fight. When I was a little kid, I was about four or so, I was in an orphanage. Plenty of kids, all with no parents. It was around the end of the Sorceress War, so I guess I couldn't be, it could be helped. Anyway, that's where I was. And out of all the kids there, one was very special to me. Irvy, wanna play? I really like this girl. And it made me so happy just talking to her. Sefi, what you playing? Wait. War! Okay, well that's a super aggressive. Wait, so... That makes so much sense now why he's... Now it's not- now it's not Edgar vibes! An old house made of stone by the ocean. You guessed it. I knew right away when we first met. Hey, why didn't you tell us? Yes, why didn't you tell us? Because you two seem to have forgotten. It just kind of sucked that I was the only one who remembered. Wait, they were both at the same orphanage? Spunky little Safi, Sefi, and bossy little Kisty. What? Why is this happening? Why'd they all just end up being in the same orphanage? Hey, do you guys remember setting off fireworks? The whole pie, except for Leon and Renoa, went to this orphanage. Maybe they did too. <laughs> Who really knows at this point, eh? Oh my god, he is fucking here! They're all here except for Renoa! Sis, where did you go? Yo, don't like me anymore? That's you. Stop teasing me, Cypher! What? Cypher? My arch enemy! Except for Renoa, we were all there. And only. Wait, why did only. Only Irving remember that, though? Why'd no one else remember that? I guess they were so young they don't remember that far back. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense, right? You wouldn't remember, would you? Well, maybe you would. I don't really know. Do you find this contrived? Well, I'll only find it contrived if there's not, like, a reason for it. Because <laughs> if they, like, if there's a reason for it later down the line, then it's like, well, then they wrote that into the plot because they were going to explain it because it's relevant. But if it's just, like, a thing that happens and it never comes up again, then, yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> like, they're just all old friends for some reason. I was always waiting for Sis to come back. Sis. L. What? Okay, how do you forget that, dude? How do you forget that, dude? Okay, well, let's hope there is a meaning. She's the one that takes us back to Laguna's period. Look, I don't know why I said it like that. Laguna's period, not Laguna's period. That sounds that me, that sounds like something else. Look, I assume this gets explained and, like, it means something. I assume it's not just, like, for no reason and it's just, like, a coincidence. There's gotta be a reason for it, right? Like, why were they all in the same orphanage? Why does that bring them together now? Like, there's a reason for that. There's gotta be a reason for that. So, like, so, Laguna is a lone's uncle, which means Laguna is also Squall's uncle, too, if they're related. Unless, unless he's, like, his dad. Why is it that we forgot? How about this? The price we pay for using the GF. The GF provides us its power, but the GF makes its own place inside our brain. No, that's just a rumor the GF critics are spreading. Is this really the explanation? That's lame. I... So if we keep relying on the GF, we won't be able to remember a lot of things? Alright, I guess that's an explanation, I guess. Recently Squall mentioned he forgot the nice guy graduated with him. Oh, I guess so. But how does it... Oh god, I don't even want to think about it. I can't be bothered. It's too dumb. It's just too dumb. Like, why? Why? Why does he forget that? Why does he forget a guy he literally trained with? Why? Why that guy? But he remembers everything crucial. Like, he remembers a guy that actually is irrelevant to the plot because, like, that's, you know? Why doesn't he forget anybody else? <sighs> Alright. Hey. Do you all remember Matron? She was always wearing black. Ma <laughs> 
Matron's name is Dia Kramer. Matron is Sorceress Dia? You're wondering why Matron would take over a country or fire missiles and whatnot? At this point, we probably wouldn't comprehend it even if we talked about it. <laughs> so let me guess they're not going to. But somehow, we're together again. Somehow. That's it. Somehow Palpatine returned. Um... Yeah, look, I don't like this. I'm sorry. I gotta be honest, I gotta rip the bandaid off for you now. This is pretty bad. I, I can't, I can't sugarcoat it, I can't be around the bush. This is maybe one of the worst plot twists I've ever seen. I, who wrote this? A lot of the stakes of the game ride on it too. I'm interested to see how they handle it moving forward and what further explanation we get for all of it obviously, but I cannot say that this is in any way a satisfying, like, conclude not conclusion, but satisfying, like, because it was, because the thing is, everything was set up very interestingly, like, the pieces were in such an interesting place, and for some reason they've just decided to do, do this, I don't know why it's so overcomplicated, in, like, such a way that, like, it's just too much of a coincidence, you know, like, like, what, like, our party just happen happens to meet up again somehow, Maybe they'll explain it, I don't know. But like, so far, like based on what I know, like the party just happened to meet up again somehow. They all like happen to grow up in the same orphanage. And the main antagonist of the game just happens to be the fucking matron of the orphanage they grew up in. I completely understand now why people said that I wouldn't like this. I completely understand it. Dear. We're going into battle, let's go. All right, listen up. This is one of, this is big one, guys. We gotta win no matter what. This might not be the best time, but Give me your ring, will ya? I just want to borrow it for a while. I won't lose it or anything. Come on, what do you say? Why do you need it? Uh, I can't tell you that. Come on, just give it to me. You can trust me. Yeah, thanks, man. I didn't think you were going to give it to me. Renoa's going to be so happy. Renoa. All right, Squall. Leave this place up to me. Holy shit. Look at these things. Cypher is in charge over there. They're heading right for us. Whoa. Holy shit. What? Oh my god. These guys are crazy. Renoa, here you go. I got it from Squall. Like I said, I'll make you one just like it. Till then, hold on to it for me, will ya? She just really likes his ring. It looks cool, but it's too big. Talk about it later. Let's go. Renoa! Honestly, it would be so funny. If she finally got that ring. And then she dies. Squall. Wait, wait, what? Whoa! Was this the right move? Oh my god, I'm literally gonna die. My health is so low. Hey! <laughs> we win! What the fuck? Okay, we're fine. We're okay. Renoa! Let's go! Everything is okay. You know, just lower it down to the middle of the battlefield. That'll do it. Oh. Oh. This is pretty cool. You know something? I couldn't afford to fall off that cliff and die. I have something very important that belongs to you. I can't die until I get back to you, right? Zell gave it to me. See? I've been holding on to it. Yeah, but this isn't sentimental because Zell just stole it and didn't tell us why and then just gave it to Renoa. Why is she acting like... It's not like Kyrie and the good luck charm. It's... <laughs> Whatever. Forget about the past. She's our enemy now. Don't think twice for a second. There's no way we can fight her like that. I, for one, can't. She chose to fight and became our enemy. We choose to fight back. We have no choice. At least I'd like to think so. Oh, you guys shouldn't have. I was gonna come visit you at my old home. Shut up. Did you guys come to fight Matron after all that she's done for us? So he knows now, too. Of course he does. You guys are the monsters. Okay. Is that all you got? I can't be beaten. You sure as hell can, and you will. This can't be. Why? Bye, Adia. See you later. Whoop, here she comes. Ah! Booba. You're the legendary seed destined to face me. Actually, we've got to fight both. I'm the sorceress's knight. You'll never get past me. Yeah. 
It's that music again that sounds like the Final Fantasy VII theme. <laughs> oh my god, it's Alexander! Let's go! Okay, just gotta spit, you know, just a bit of a test of stamina, we'll be alright. We'll, we'll, we'll manage this. Squall's got a good enough attack power that I think we'll be okay. Lol, imagine casting silence when we don't even use magic. Oh, she fleeing? She leaving? She teleporting away? What happened? My body. Oh. Cypher dead? Wait, no, 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 he's not. He's alright. He's getting up. Okay, good. He's fine. Is that good? I don't know anymore. Oh! Renoa, you've all grown so much and become so strong. Where is alone? Have I protected alone? It's Renoa! Renoa? What's wrong with Renoa? Oh, is that it? Did we just beat disc- Yeah, we're on disc three! Let's go! My children, please forgive me. I raised you as my own, yet still I- We feel the same way. Oh, so she's just like... Accidentally evil. I have been possessed all this time. That's- Okay, come on. That's a terrible line of dialogue. <laughs> I have been possessed! <laughs> she might as well say the plot twist is... I was at the mercy of Sorceress Ultimacia. Ultimacia is a sorceress from the future. A sorceress many generations ahead of our time. Ultimacia's objective is to find Alone. She's after Alone's mysterious power. Ooh. <laughs> the only thing I could do was surrender my soul to Ultimacia and lose control of my mind. Was that the, really the only thing you could do? This is so... It's very, very black and white, isn't it? Oh no, I'm actually a comp I'm 100% good. I just like, it was just like, I'm being controlled by someone who's 100% evil. That's what happened here. It's super easy to comprehend for like an eight year old, I guess. That's why it's called Final Fantasy VIII. It's Final Fantasy for eight year olds. The sorceress that appeared in Galbadia was in fact Ultimacia inside my shell. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> I've just got to accept it for what it is. Whatever. This is a dumb story. It's fine. Let's just enjoy it. I'm not here to fucking critique it. I don't give a shit. Fuck it. Who cares? Who fucking cares? I don't at this point. It doesn't fucking matter. Let's just enjoy the dumb story. Have you all heard of Sorceress Adel before? <laughs> who the fuck is that? She's the sorceress who ruled us Thar. She's currently missing, correct? The Galbadians must have thought I was the sorceress who received Sorceress Adel's powers. I believe Sorceress Adel is still alive and that Ultimacia released my body in order to use the body of Sorceress Adel. Yeah, sure. What's she going to do with the past? You were looking at me. You smiled when our eyes met. Time compression? Time compression? I can't even imagine a world where time is compressed. Neither can I! That's not real! That's not a real sentence! That doesn't mean anything! I'm sorry, Squall. Just let me use your spirit for a little while longer. She ain't here, either. If I may ask, what happened to this alone? She was kidnapped by Estar soldiers. I've been traveling, trying all I can to get inside Estar, but... They were looking for a successor to the Estar Sorceress Adele? Yeah, yeah, exactly it. I don't care if it's in the past or what. I want to hear Renola. I want to see Renola. That way, there might be a chance to save her. They keep mentioning the fairies. That's because they must have something to do with someone's... They might have something... They must have something to do with, like... The timey-wimey shit. I don't know. Whoa! Look who's here! Squall, how's it going? I can't believe you're here. Everybody doing good, sir? After you guys left, the Galbadian buttheads came after us. And we barely escaped to this boat. So it says in the letter you're looking for alone. I'm sorry, alone's no longer here. Remember we picked her up from your garden near the FH, FH coast? Suddenly, an Esthar ship came up beside us and Esthar soldiers came aboard. They told us to get aboard their ship. It sounded like an order to evacuate. Alone yelled out something. Then, all of a sudden, she jumped into, onto their ship. What? what? <laughs> to this day, I don't understand why she did that. After that, Esthar's, th Esthar's fleet withdrew from battle and fled. Let's go, Renoa. Let's go meet alone. Gual has gone from being like, I literally don't care about you at all, to suddenly like he's so fucking desperate. I just feel like this was a bit of a turn. It's kind of happened a bit quick. Didn't think it would be this far. <laughs> what am I doing? Go to Estar, find alone, talk to alone. But there's no guarantee that everything will be resolved if I talk to alone. Even so, I'm... I... Sure have changed. Guys, I... Guys, I sure underwent a character arc. Guys, I had character development. I wonder what everyone's doing. They're probably laughing at me. Or maybe they're angry. What do you think? I'll tell you the truth. I worry too much about what, other, what others think of me. I hate that side of me. That's why I didn't want anyone to get to know me. I wanted to hide that side of myself. I hate it. Squall is an unfriendly, introverted guy. It made it easy for me when people perceive me that way. That's a secret between you and me. Got that? 
That's nice. That's a nice piece of dialogue. I like that. That was good. The way he opens up, and but, but she's unconscious, like, so he finally opens up. Because he doesn't even open up to himself, you know? Like, in his head, he won't open up. But he opens up to her when she can't hear him. It's quite nice. There's something here. Whoa. That's weird. Is that a tunnel or something? This looks like the only way. Whoa! Holy shit. Whoa, it's like a big ol' fucking city. Holy shit. Jeez, would you look at that. It's all fucking this fucking high-tech city. It's like Futurama. No, not now. This isn't good. Surely put some rails up on the side of that thing, dude. Oh my god, we're going to fucking Laguna. Oh my god. Okay. Most of us involved in the Adele resistance are specialists. It's easy to research ways to fight Adele, but there's no one, there's no one to lead the movement. I've been looking for someone like you. Someone who's strong and righteous. Okay, fine. We'll accept your help. In return, we'll help your anti Azel movement or whatever. What's your impression on Final Fantasy VIII? It's a weird one. It's definitely a weird one. So, yeah. I'll have more of a clearer opinion when I finish the game, for sure. I don't think this game's gonna stick with me, is what I just feel. It's a bit of fun, and maybe one day I'll play it again. But I don't think it's gonna stick with me. I don't think this is gonna be a game, like, in a week I'm gonna think about. You know what I mean? Which is a shame that I feel that way, but... Alone! Uncle Laguna? See? I told you I'd come save you. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but... Squall, are you alright? Whoa, a car is coming. We just exercised the sorceress. There is nothing Odin cannot do. We'll take the girl there. There's nothing to worry about, just head to Lunar Gate. First, we need you to enter the capsule inside of this pipe. Here, you'll undergo a cold sleep process. Once this process is complete, your capsule will automatically be loaded on the booster. After that, we launch. Space? Well, I'll do whatever it takes. We're in a fucking rocket. This is sick! Holy shit, we're going to the fucking moon! What an interesting rocket design. The Lunatic Pandora is a giant floating pillar thing with a crystal inside it. Crystals! They're back! Here they go, into space. Ooh. Come oh, on, that's so cool. I love this technology, it's so silly. Alone's room is on the second floor. You can go see her anytime. Squall, I'm so happy to see you again. Me too. I got you involved in so many things, so much hardship. It's alright. I understand. I understand what you were trying to do. Were we of any help? Of course, you are my eyes. Thanks to you guys, I was able to see how much I was loved. I couldn't change the past, but just seeing it was more than enough. Thank you so much. Was that it? All right, all right. It's okay. I came here because I need your help. You said you can't change the past, right? You can find out things about the past that you never knew. And from what you've learned, you may see some things differently in the present. You're the one that changes, not the past. Really? There's no way to change the past? No. I want to find out myself. Take me to Renoa's past. I need to see the past through Renoa. Red alert! Red alert! All units report to MedLab, stat. Whoa. Squall, Renault's gone crazy. That's Adele's tomb. Sealed deactivation device. Adele's tomb, level one, sealed deactivated. It's overflowing with monsters. Whoa. That ain't looking too good. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it, the seal's gonna be broken. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is also a sick character design. It does feel, yeah, like they're just constantly like, they're like, you thought what happened was bad? Well, we're gonna do something more bad. It's not entirely coherent, but you know, they're trying, I guess. Whoa. Whoa. Take me to Renoa. To her past. Squall's ring? I don't know where he bought it. I want the same one. It looks really cool, doesn't it? Alright, how about I make you one? I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff. Let's have Squall show us the real thing. We can't do that. It's embarrassing. Say what? What? Oh. No, it's not what you think. The whole ring thing I think is dumb as shit. I, like, the ring thing is just dumb. Because it's just like, she just liked his ring and wants to have one that looks the same. Okay. 
all right that's a weird like point to make and also like the whole way they get zell to get it as well it's just so weird and it's like yeah i guess i'll give you my ring okay thanks for the ring and then later on, Renault was like, but I have to give you your precious ring back. It's not the same thing as Kari's good luck charm. Like, it's not the same thing. It doesn't work the same. It's not got the same kind of sentimental value. There's not the same history there established. Like, it's just, it's just random. It's just completely random. It doesn't mean shit. They've not done enough character work. Like, it's just so annoying, man. Like, I don't care about these fucking characters and their relationship. I just don't care. Like, they've not shown me much at all of them together. Like, the first time I felt maybe anything at all was just when she had felt fallen unconscious and Squall was carrying her. That was, like, the first time I was like, oh, yeah, maybe. But other than that, it's just, they've just been people talking in, like, you know, odd ways to each other. Sharing of the rings like that is more of a Japanese courtship thing. Well, that, okay, that makes that makes it make more sense. Okay, if, if that's a, if that's actually a thing, then that makes it make more sense because it's then she's being like kind of a bit, but then that, that doesn't translate very well to me, obviously. And I feel like most people aren't going to know that. I, I, like, if that's the case, then it makes a bit more sense because it's like then she is actually sort of subtly implying like, yeah, like if you like, yeah, so she got a ring, she got Squall's ring by saying, no, I just really like it and I would like one similar, so I'm just gonna like borrow it so I can make one like it on my own. Um... But really, she knows it means something to share his ring, right? If, she, if he shares his ring with her. Like, I feel like the game should establish it somewhere. So, you, so that the game, like, it's like, in this world that we've created, this fictional world, that's a thing, you know? Yeah, exactly. Why would the, yeah, exactly. Why would the fantasy rules have the same courtship rules as Japan? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why, like, if that is the case, which it very well might be, that might be the case. It might just be the Japanese developers thinking, oh, this is just the standard for dating. Like, this is what people do not realizing that like that's not going to translate properly so that could be the case but like then you've got to bake it into the world the fictional world you've built up because just assuming that everyone just understands that this, the, the, the 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 japanese culture applies to this fictional world that has nothing to do with japan is a bit of a stretch maybe you just need to put in a scene dare i say a line establishing that ring sharing means the same thing in the game as it does in real life and you don't need to have it be a character say it to another character either it could just be a thing that happens. Like, maybe you witness it, maybe you just, maybe just like when you visit one of the towns, it's just like a thing that's happening there or something. Like, you see a couple exchanging rings or something. Or like, there's just like a thing that happens. So then when it comes up, comes up 10 hours later, you have it in the back of your mind, you're like, oh, that means something to these characters, right? I guess we understood the sharing a special item with someone translated well enough since it was sharing a precious, less sentimental item with someone, meaning you're letting them in. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not like, Squall doing that, like, so if they had a bond and then Squall lent her, her his ring, then it would be meaningful. But she just gets Zell to borrow it. There is no sentimental value in that at all. Because the only sentimental value comes from she would like for Squall to give her his ring because she thinks that would mean a lot. Because she would like a ring similar as well. Like, there's a set piece of sentimental value there for her. And Squall doesn't know that. Because Zell is the one that comes up to him and says, give me your ring. And he's like, all right, mate. Yeah, I guess you can borrow my ring. And then he's like, oh, yeah, Renault's going to be so happy. And then he's like, wait, well, I didn't consent to that. Why are you giving Why are you giving her my ring? I, you wanted to borrow it, right? I thought you wanted to make one based. Why are you doing that, Zell? That doesn't mean anything to me. This is all so forced. Like, and then she gets the ring, yeah, but, like, it's because Zell lied and stole it and then gave it to her. And then and then she's just like, oh, don't forget, you can't let me die. I've got to give you your ring back. Like, you fucking stole it. You lied and you stole it. This doesn't mean anything to me. This doesn't mean anything outside of inside your head, Renoa. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. Can you hear me? It's Squall. Renoa. Renoa. Renoa, I'm right there with you. Listen to me. Oh, look, she's got the ring. It's the ring that she stole. Wait, that's all she had to do? Why didn't she do that in the first place? Do you know how much better that scene would have been if the rings meant something? Like, if, if the ring meant something in the story, and it wasn't just a thing that they just, like, made her get at one point. Yay! Now, how do we get back? That's the question. What now? Die in space? I'm so helpless. Can't even save her Noah. Come on, think. Wait. 
Look, you smash my mask, I'll smash yours, we die together. Dragon? Is that a dragon? Or is it just a spaceship shaped like a dragon? It's just here. It's just here. It just is. God, Squalor and Noah are really lucky that the people who wrote this just love a good coincidence. Otherwise, they, they might have died. They might have actually, you know, faced some stakes there. Um, whoa, this is really the Ragnarok? You're in space, right? Ragnarok. It's been 17 years. Oh my, that's even more dumb. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? Okay. You leave it to us. You should have enough fuel. Enter your location into the atmospheric re-entry program and you'll be okay. Why were they contacting you? 17, would that not be written off as like, oh, that ship's gone. Like, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Why would you be messaging the airship? Why? Why is it not run out of power? Why is it still fine? Why does it still have fuel? Why are they, why are they talking to the airship? Why was it here? It's been 17 years! Why, why is it flown away? Honestly, this game is making me appreciate Zach falling through Aerith's church. Honestly, I think that's not even contrived. I just think that's a great plot point. You know what? Crisis Core is kind of sick. Crisis Core is kind of really good, actually. That's a really well-written game. Go sit over there. Put your seatbelt on. Well, that's not right, is it, Renoa? You got that wrong? You need to put a seatbelt on. Just a little longer. Why are you holding on to me like this? <laughs> Fucking incel. I'm afraid. Afraid of having that feeling of comfort taken away. You were afraid of losing us? Is that why you kept your distance? Yep, got that. I got it. I was always lonely. Squall. You missed out on all the good things in life. I like having my mom hold me. My dad, too, back when we got along. I'm not your mom. <laughs> <laughs> but now, Squall, you're the one who gives me the most comfort. You met like five minutes ago. When we get back, we won't be able to stay together, huh? I was possessed out in space. There was a sorceress inside me. Yeah, I know. Ultimacia. A sorceress from the future. We'll be heading to the Sorceress Memorial. Renoa, don't go. Thanks, Gual, but I have to go. I still have your ring. You keep it. Okay, listen, why did you You could have had so many other ways of her getting the ring originally. So many other ways. And you, you could have you could have had this moment be the moment he gives her the ring voluntarily. Like, you could have had her saying how much she likes the ring or something over the course of the game, maybe. Or, like, just picking up on it, and then maybe he could give it to her now. So that it's an actual, like, active thing that a character does. Can't we just go find baby Ultimacia and gut, fucking gut her? Could we go find her great-great-great-grandmother and kill her? Woohoo! We're flying! Selfie's just amazing. You sure you can fly this? It just kind of took off. I don't know. It's pretty easy. I think I'll be fine. <sighs> of course you will. Isn't it crazy how every other Final Fantasy game has an airship expert as part of the party? Every single one. Every single one. And then in this one, they decide to go... She just c can do it. Can't she? Yeah. Wait, why's he got his normal weapon? Wow! Oh no, Renault's not doing alright. I had a dream. It was a scary dream. We make a promise. We promise to see shooting stars together. I get dressed up and you put on your ring. But the thing is, I can't remember where I'm supposed to meet you. I start to panic. I really want to see you, Squall, but I don't know where to go. I start running through the mountains, the desert, the plains, through Timber, Balam, and Galbadia, when I realize I can't run any longer. I just want to see you so badly. So I scream, Squall, where are you? Then I woke up. I was crying. I'm sorry. You don't have anything to say. I just feel like I had to tell you. It was just a dream. It doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. I guess you're right. How about this? I'll be here. The reason why you couldn't find me was because we haven't promised yet. Promised? I'll be waiting for you. If you come here, you'll find me. I promise. I'll be here too. It's a promise. Thanks, Squall. Next time, we'll meet for sure. Whoa! Finally, we meet the boys. Been wanting to meet you guys. You guys are the ones who were inside my head, right? Alone told me. So I'm Laguna, President Laguna Loire of Estar. He isn't related to her. They never said they were. It's just literally said before that they called her sis because she was like, oh, really? That whole time. The so they're all so so he she's all of their sister because. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's cool. First, enter Lunatic Pandora and rescue alone. Next, you fight Sorceress Adele. It will be a surprise attack. Show no mercy. Now, here comes the tricky part. Adele will need to pass on her powers before being defeated. Renoa, will you be willing to accept them? Yes. Next, we wait for Sorceress Ultimacia to possess, possess Renoa. Then, Alone sends Renoa and Ultimacia to the past. Alone brings back Renoa. Then, head to the future through the compressed time. Ultimacia lives far in the future, where none of us can technically exist. There's only one way to make yourself exist in a world like that. As friends, don't forget one another. As friends, believe in one another. Believe in your friend's existence, and they'll also believe in yours. To be friends, to like one another, and to love one another. You can't do these things alone. You need somebody. <laughs> Cramps. Classic. Classic Laguna. That was a subtle moment. He didn't say out loud what was happening. That's crazy. This game loves doing that. Ward says, good thing you don't look like your father. You look very much like your mother. Okay, Laguna's our dad, right? It'd be so funny if what they told us was just like it's some random person we've never met before. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty clear. I think that's pretty damn clear. I, I figured that out earlier. As you, to be fair, it's funny because I figured it out based on the fact that he called alone sis. But turns out they're not even biologically related. We've come to take a loan back. Looks like we've got company. Show them your hospitality. We've had enough, you know. Go. Oh, this is good. I like this. Wait outside. Laguna should be here soon. Hey, hey, come on, people. Cypher, we're quitting, you know. Don't know what's right anymore, you know. Exactly my thoughts. I thought we were a posse. We are. We always will be. Because we're a posse. We want to help you. Whatever it takes to fulfill your dream, we're willing to do. Being manipulated, Cypher. You've lost yourself in your dream. You're just eating out of someone's hand. We want the old you back, because we can't get through to you. All we have now is to rely on Squall. It's sad. Sad that we only have Squall to rely on. Cypher, are you still gonna keep going? How come she could just speak now? Could she always speak? Is she doing that on purpose? Was she purposefully being... Like... Okay. Okay. Don't think about it. Don't, don't think about it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The whole... Oh! What? What? Show me what you got, Squall. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I liked that. I liked that, I will say. That was that was pretty cool. Probably something that I Oh. Oh my god! Yo, it's the boy! You gave me the fourth one. Wait, I forgot what voice I gave him. It was like some Huh? Was it you? Then dodge my sword! I, I gave him like a bit of a like a cool, like a cocky sort of voice, didn't I? Like a cocky anime voice. I don't remember. Holy shit. Where is the dimensional interval? That was cool! Gilgamesh came to help. That was fun. And that wouldn't have happened, I assume, if we didn't get Odin, right? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. That's fun. Oh boy. That 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 big eye looking thing looks like the uh the monitors, the little uh like the little monitor things that you can access in Halo 3. Oh! Oh my god, it's Adele! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Did we do it? Yo, let's go! Let's fucking go! This is the showdown, folks. Time compression is about to begin. Love, friendship, and courage. Show them what you got. I can get be I can get behind that. I can get behind those themes. Whoa. Whoa. Time compression sure looks like bowl of jelly. Just stay by my side. I won't let you disappear. Up, uh, falling upside down backwards. Too many birds. Too many birds. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock's the birds. Oh god, what the hell? The birds just turned into a wormhole. Oh my god. It's a wing. The castle is a monster. Castles. Had wings. They'd be monsters. Good. We all made it. The pipe's powers have been sealed by Ultimatia's servants. The following powers have been sealed. Item, magic, GF, draw, command ability, limit break, resurrection, save. The powers will be sealed while the parties are inside the castle. Yeah, I'm turning off encounters. Let's just have a little explore. I'm a cheater, and I'm happy to be a cheater. Oh, this is Ultimatia. Oh, no. 
No, 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 yeah, no. No, 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 no. I win! Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker! Ah, we get to choose. Resurrection, what does that mean? It's like the ability to come back to life. Command ability, right? So I can get recover back, so I can use recover. Is that what that is? Ah, yeah, okay, draw. We'll go with draw first, then command ability next. Ah, hello, boss. Okay. Oh. Okay, draw. Rebirth Flame, let's go! Second chance. Yes, let's go! Nice! Oh, we did it! Nice. There we go, we win. Okay, there we go. Let's go! Huh? Now we get to do the final boss! What a name Ultimacia is, my god. Look at her, holy shit. Holy shit! Do we have to fight her? I don't... Curse all seeds with a K, swarming like locusts with a K across generations. You disgust me. Oh, she pronounces seeds like a K. That's okay. Oh my gosh, she got wings. She's a monster. What? It randomizes. No. How could I have known? How could I have known? I don't have enough GFs. Am I supposed to? Oh God, no. Absorbed into. Ah! Absorbed into time. You know what? I tell you what. Let's just let him die. Let's let him die, and then we can have, um... We can have our actual party that has, like, actual abilities and stuff. Yes, let's go, Zell. The most powerful GF you shall... Suffer! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I need Kistus to get swapped out. Yes! Let's go, the dream team! Oh god! The GF's true power allow me to show you! No, please don't. Griever, make them bleed! Wait, Griever? But Griever's... Wait, what? No, Zell! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's just two men against the world, boys. Oh! I did it, I did it, I did it. But is that, what's, is that, is there another, is something gonna happen? Is he turning into something? Are we, what's happening? I shall junction myself unto Griever. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And we've literally lost all of our party. It's two gamers. We can do this. We can do this. Squall and Irvine, it's all we need. It's all we need. We can do this. Oh god. Oh, not the planets again. They've been through too much. Not again. Don't, don't. <sighs> Pluto's not even there anymore. It's been destroyed so many times. Oh my god. Oh no, he's throwing the planets into us. Oh, blimey. Yes, let's go! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Could have gone better, but, you know, not bad, all things considered, but alright. Did I do it? Oh my god, okay. Is that it, though? Please be it, please. Oh. Oh. No. Nope, she's- nope, she's still fucking going! She's still fucking going. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine. Come on, come on, that's it, right? Oh! That's fun, though. That was a fun fight, though. Oh. Okay, what is going on here? No! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> All right, let's go. I am Ultimacia. Time shall compress. She can get rid of whole spells? Wait, is that what she's doing? She's like getting rid of all of your spells. Oh, that's rough. Oh, Gilgamesh, let's go! Let's fucking go, Gilgamesh! He missed. I. It seems, yeah, it does seem promising. Do we win? Do we win? Do we win? Do we win? Did she finally die? Did this bitch finally fucking die? 
Just two more phases to go. Just two more hours to go. You'll be fine. We've woken up in the white space. Whatever you do, don't fall into a time warp. How do you the fuck do you know what a time warp is, Kistus? No one's even said that this whole game. You just made that up. Squall. I'm gonna find Sis. Squall. Excuse me. Have you seen a little boy? Oh, no. You don't have to worry. The boy won't go anywhere. <laughs> I think so, too. Poor thing. You think so, too? The sorceress? Yes, matron. We had defeated her. Matron, stand back. It's okay. There's no more need to fight. That sorceress is just looking for someone to pass her powers on to. In order to die in peace, a sorceress must be free of all her powers. I know, for I am one too. I shall take over that sorceress's powers. I do not want one of the children to become one. I can't disappear yet. Matron. So it's a time loop. But... But, but then, but then... A seed. A seed from Balam Garden. I... But then, but then, but then, but then, a day and... Both garden and seed were your ideas. Garden trained seeds. Seeds are trained to defeat sorceresses. Wait, no. You're that boy from the future? <sighs> Will you be alright by yourself? I'll be alright, matron. Renoa, where are you? Zell, oh, Renoa. <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny. He's on a big rock in space. Oh no. It's Angeal. What the hell? <clears throat> I'm sorry, these effects are just... I can't. Why is it so aggressive? I can't help but feel like I would understand this a lot more if it were integrated into a slot machine mechanic. Hey look. The flowers. That's nice. Nice ending for our gamers. Unless Squall's dead, in which case... Terrible ending, but, you know, I think it's alright. <laughs> I hope. Cypher? He's fishing? What is he doing that for? I guess these guys are all, all good now? Oh, he doesn't like... He's well, fish fishing won't go into... He got himself a new coat. It's not ripped up anymore. Laguna. Oh. I feel like I don't have a lot to say <laughs> about this ending. I feel like I don't have a lot to say. Just sort of watching it. You know, I thought at the beginning of the game, that whole radio transmissions thing, it would have something to do with something, but it turns out I just didn't have anything to do with anything. Garden, fly away. The Final Fantasy theme! What a fucking garbled mess. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Tassos, what are you saying? Okay, so like two major theories here. One is that Squall died at the end of disc one, and that it's all a dream. Okay, yeah, that'd be sick, because that would that would be the only way to explain how everything else was so bad. The second is that Renoa became Ultimacia because ooh, ooh bad game. Wait, what? All, all in all, Katase has done interviews where he said that if he rema ever remakes it, he wants to tackle and do those theories, possibly. And I fucking hate him. I genuinely want him to stop working. He's so fucking dumb. Like, the theories themselves are bad enough. Katase is a literal high school fan fiction writer. It's so dumb. To be fair, I'd be happy for them to say that everything that happened after Disc 1 was was not real. Oh, I'm so sorry, Final Fantasy VIII fans. I didn't mean to do this to you. I really didn't. I'm sorry. Um, just remember that despite how I feel, some random fucking guy on the internet, you can still love this game and have that emotional attachment to it. And that's all that matters at the end of the day, is how you feel about the thing, not how I feel. Because, who the fuck am I? Did you have fun? I had fun, but I also think this game's shit. <laughs> Best thing about this game's soundtrack? Soundtrack's very good, yeah, yeah, for sure.
what I will say is that at least this game, like, is not as bad as Crisis Core because it doesn't retcon an already existing piece of perfect media. It also has a soundtrack I like, and also, like, it's fun enough to play, you know? It's fun to play. I do enjoy the gameplay. Like, it's a fun game to actually play through. It's got that going for it, you know? So it's like, as a video game, it's functional, you know what I mean? But it's the story and shit that I just think is just so, so poor. Um, but, like... Would you say it's the weakest mainline game? Uh, well, the game gameplay-wise, no, because Final Fantasy 2 still has a worse gameplay. Like, the leveling system and stuff is worse in 2 than this. I would say I prefer playing this than I prefer playing 2. Story-wise, 2 is better, though. Overall, yeah, it might be my least favorite mainline so far. It might be... It, it, I, don't, I wouldn't say the junction system and stuff makes up for it. I'd say they're positives, but I think that it's overwhelmingly... I feel like the contextualization of elements is quite important. And, and especially for a game that's... Like a franchise that's so based in story, right? And I feel like if that's just a complete mess, what does it leave you with, really, other than, like, a decently fun JRPG? But it's hardly, like, the strongest gameplay of a game I've ever played, so it's like... I'd rather play something else that has better gameplay and also has a good story. Oh, look, post credit scene! It's a garden. This is our garden, right? Holy shit. Squall smiling is... weird. Oh my god, they had a kiss! They had a little kiss! A little smooch! Oh my god! Well, I'm happy for my boy Squall. He's getting something tonight, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Happy for you, man. The whole game was worth it, so long as that's, you know, Squall gets a good outcome there. You know, I'm happy for him. You know, I'll play I'll play through this whole thing for him, for my boy. Just so that Squall can get laid, you know? Wow. God. I'm, I just feel a bit... Uh, cannot ex can an explanation for the Leon name from Nomura is that because Squall failed to save Renoa and everyone else when Radiant Garden fell... He felt ashamed that Squall let that happen, so he changed his name. Whoa, that's pretty cool. I like that. That should be in the game. Dude, why why isn't that in the game? That'd be so sick. Imagine if you could find little notes and stuff, or find information, like, in Hollow Bastion about, like, the people that died. Because you never really find out about the people who died when Hollow Bastion was destroyed. Like, you just know that Leon is, like, friends with, you know, Yuffie and Aerith, and, um, who's the other one that's there? Sid. It'd be cool to find out about all the one, like all the Final Fantasy characters that used to live there that died. Kind of does hurt to understand why childhood games is very divisive. The nostalgic, they have nostalgic attachment all the same. I mean, that's fine. It's fair. You, you're allowed to like it. Like, you know, look, I feel one way about it, but it's a like the 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 point of art is to resonate with other humans to 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 convey some sort of some sort of feeling that people can feel and take from it. And if you feel something for it, that's very real and very valid. And that's important to hang on to um, because that's the point of it. So, you know, if you love Final Fantasy VIII, love Final Fantasy VIII. I'll see you with Final Fantasy IX soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm sorry about it too. Um, see you soon for Final Fantasy IX. On Twitch. Drop me a follow. Love ya. Bye bye.